Alright guys, how's it all going? Hope everyone's all alright. Just thought I'd uh, do a, a quick a little uh, introduction into the next vlog. Um, because it needs a little bit of explanation. The uh, <laughs> And I'm sure you'll find out the reasons as to why. And you'll see what I mean. So, as uh, you probably know from my description, I use the Drift HD Ghost camera. And uh, the reason why I chose that was purely for the, the swivel lens on the front. Um, just because it means you, you've got a little bit more flexibility with a helmet cam and, and everything like that. So it's uh, one of its, its main features, which is brilliant. However, it's also one of its uh, downfalls because if you take the, the, obviously the camera off your helmet and you use it for something else, um, you turn, well I, I ride with my helmet on the left, okay? So with my helmet on the left, it means I've got to actually use the camera upside down um, to get the right angle because the lens doesn't turn the, enough the other way. So I've got to use my camera upside down and uh, therefore I have to invert the lens uh, for my motor vlogs. <laughs> you can see where this is going, can't you? So I took my camera off and I used it for a weekend away sailing, which uh, you'll see uh, the video prior to this one. And um, basically I used it and when I came back and got on my bike, Numpty forgot to change the angle over. So, um, the next video that you will see is a motor vlog uh, that I intended to do. Uh, however, uh, like Top Gun and uh, you know the video you've seen on uh, YouTube, I just made my uh, video badass because I'm inverted. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm inverted. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, Alright guys, how's it all going? A uh, bit of a long time no speak again, I know oh, it's just been uh, really really busy um, because obviously college is taking priority uh, and I've been um, doing all of my short courses which you probably already know from one of the other videos um, before this and uh, well, they've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I have my last day tomorrow with my last exam and uh, that's for efficient deck can so that's all of my knots and riggings and moorings and and other things like that so that'll be a pretty cool uh, exam um, but uh, yeah I've had a bit of a uh, bit of bright problems and uh, that's obviously kept me from getting any footage and also from um, Get, being able to get out and have a bit of a laugh. We've had some really good weather recently as well, which is even worse. Um, so I've been sitting there whilst my bike's been in the garage and uh, just cringing to the fact that I can't get out because of uh, bike problems. Uh, basically, what happened was I went to saw my friend uh, a couple of Saturdays ago, everything was running fine, went all the way up the coast, loved it. Uh, went to leave hers and uh, the um, idle cable or the bike just wouldn't tick over um, once I'd warmed it up um, as you've probably seen in some of the footage as well um, so, so what actually happened was um, the idle cable apparently there's a screw and that screw had came undone which was connected to a spring or something and it meant that the idle cable just disconnected so uh, the bike wouldn't tick over it just kept on dying so I took it into a garage because it's a little bit beyond me um, and uh, they fixed it well yeah they, they fixed the idle cable put that back on however when I pulled away um, it was uh, the bike was like struggling for fuel or it just wasn't <laughs> it was dangerous um, in a nutshell um, because it was constantly fighting to get fuel in and uh, eventually what would happen is, is the carburetor would be wide open the fuel would go through and then it would snap out to about eight and a half nine thousand revs uh, generally in second gear um, from about three so yeah I pulled my first wheelie whoop whoop um, <laughs> but god did it shit the pants out of me um, oh it was it was scary man um, just yeah so I basically I took it back and I said look I'm really sorry to do this however it wasn't uh, like this when I brought it to you um, please can you have another look 
Uh, and it turns out that unfortunately the garage just knocked one of the air intakes off the air, air box and uh, therefore it, it wasn't being fueled correctly. Um, he connected it all up last night and uh, lo and behold I now have a bike that goes back to normal and it goes nice and quick again which is good. Um, so yeah I just thought as the weather is, it was lovely earlier. Um, but yeah, as the weather's dry and it's quite nice um, and I've been deprived, I would come back out and do another little video. I've got some errands to run as well. Um, errands, you know, chores and stuff. A couple of bits of post to pick up from a uh, friend's house. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I thought, well, perfect time to do a little bit of an update video as well. So yeah, bike is back on the road. Uh, footage will be coming um, hopefully thick and fast again. Uh, it, it all depends on weather really, um, we've been having quite a nice September, October time so uh, we'll see what uh, the rest of the uh, weather does and um, we'll go from there. But yeah I've got some footage of um, the sailing trip that I went away on recently um, with uh, obviously college, they took us away sailing for a weekend which was awesome. And I've got some awesome pictures and, and stuff like that, which I'll upload as well. Um, yeah, so a couple of uh, exciting videos to come. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, I shall catch you all again soon.